I'm Arnie Tapanis. I'm a senior project manager for Odyssey Marine Exploration. I've been with the company for 11 years and uh, primarily my primary area of responsibility is um, search uh, systems for our various projects. We came up with an idea of what we wanted to do and then we said, well, how can we do it? You know, with your equipment, let's design some equipment that can get us that end result, which is to map as much of the ocean seafloor as we can, looking for a particular type of target. The reason we went with this particular equipment was um, we can use it in many different ways. We can use it on, on, a, on this towfish, towing it in this search application. We can take the 7125s and we can put them on an ROV, we can put them on an AUV. We can use them in different applications, so it's very versatile. We can, we can you know, take components off and use them in other applications. Multiplexer system, a McCarthy multiplexer system can be used for different things. The Doppler that's in the tow body can be used for different applications and uses by us. Um, the ICSI Octane's um, motion reference unit can be used in different ways. With this system, primarily we designed this system to search for large um, commodity, um, more modern wrecks, big wrecks. Um, 50, 60, 70, 80 meter wrecks, World War I, World War II, um, big targets. Um, and with this system, we want to go down a, at least a, to a maximum range of uh, maximum depth of 6,000 meters and, and hopefully have a maximum range of 1,500 meters swath. So we can search 1,500 meters of the seabed in one pass with the, with the towfish. So that should greatly enhance our ability to cover um, areas of the sea bottom looking for large targets. Out on ships in exploration, you have to be able to use kit in a lot of different ways and many different applications um, because you're out in the ocean and next thing you know you need to do this and you're like, well what have I got on board that I can do that with? Okay, and you know, even if you have to take it off of another piece of equipment, it's still valuable because time is money and these ships are very expensive. So. The, the system is comprised of a lot of components that are very useful in themselves and can be taken off the system and used. So if we're not using the system, uh, you know, particularly on that project, but it's on board the, si on board the ship, we can use uh, those components. And that's really valuable and important to us and was one of the very big considerations for us as to why we would be interested in this system because we know all the individual components, the ICSI motion reference unit, the, um, the DVL, the USBL, the McCartney MOX, the 27125 multi-beams from Rezon. And so we're very comfortable with those pieces of equipment. We can use them individually, and if there's any problems with them, we can troubleshoot them and repair them and fix them.